Hello. <laughs> Hello. We've had a great day today. I've had a good day. So we're in, now how do we pronounce it? Porta Amadeu. Porta Amadeu, I believe. We believe. We're not too what, sure. Whatever she says. Porta Amadeu, uh, which is Panama. Yeah. And we've had a lovely day. We uh, had to get up really early this morning. So we got up at about uh, well, we had quarter to six. Quarter to six. Went for breakfast at uh, six o'clock uh, because we had to meet up in one of the restaurants to go on our tour. Uh, our tour was a uh, wildlife uh, tour, basically to look around um, at the local wildlife in the rainforests of Lake Gaton and to and to see uh, exactly what was there. Um, so we, we left should, the ship. You should explain what the lake is. The lake, the lake is the lake in the middle of the two lots of locks. So the first lot of locks you go through is from the Atlantic Ocean and then you're in the lake before you go through the locks again into the Pacific side. So we're in the Pacific side now and we've just taken a tour sort of back into Lake Guton, I think it's pronounced, I'm not really sure, um, around all the, uh, in the rainforest and everything. And it was really good because it was a fast sort of speed boat, wasn't it? Um, it was great. Well, it was quite interesting for a number of reasons. Um, it, it took us a day to transverse the whole of the canal. We ended up probably going almost halfway back to uh, Lake Gaton um, and that took about an hour and a half one way. Um, well, I actually remember the, the part that we visited because when we were going along there were some houses near the edge of the lake and we said I wonder how anyone ever gets there and then a bit further on you could see a, a bit of a railroad um, and you could see a, a bit of a road in the in the far distance and that was effectively the road that we went and we used and we arrived at a, a hotel uh, which was presumably the buildings that we'd seen before and uh, in the grounds of that hotel was a, a speedboat rental um, and tour place so we went out onto the lake we went under the bridge that was for the uh, road traffic and we went under the bridge that was for the rail traffic. And we went really fast on some occasions. And we, we did go really fast. Splashed about, it was great. Um, and then the, the tour guides were brilliant because every now and again, miraculously, they seemed to spot when something was moving and then they would hone had, in on them. We had a lady um, guide and she could smell things in the air. She could smell the monkeys. She could um, hear noises that we couldn't hear. And oh yeah, that's a toucan, um, you know, and all this. She was really, really good. But um, we saw a crocodile, didn't we? Yeah, so that was the first thing we saw was a crocodile. A yeah. small one, probably about four well, foot long. I wouldn't like to come face to face with it. It was you know. quite big, I thought. Um, it was longer than four foot. Do you think so? Yeah, yeah, it was at least five foot, I think. Okay. Anyway. But lounging on the side of the, the lake, um, not doing a lot in the movement stakes, apart from when you pulled your camera out, you then decided it, did, it did move. move then, yeah. didn't it? So uh, um, it, it posed for the camera, shall we say. Um, then we went up a, a little bit further, um, and we were going in search of... Uh, monkeys and sloths and sloth 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 I don't know I'm sloth sloth <laughs> anyway sloths um, and we eventually found what we were told was a two toed sloth um, which was quite a dark brownish colour wasn't it yes it was stuck up a tree it didn't move gave no signs of life and to all intents and purposes, could have been a termite nest for all we could see. <laughs> um, but the guides got this sort of laser out, laser pointer out, and uh, indicated whereabouts it was. And we all stared intently 
and I don't think anyone could have made out really what it was. I was so excited that I'd seen Sloth, <laughs> that I had the camera recording, but I didn't record. You know, I think I had it on the floor, or I don't know where I had it. But um, anyway, we saw we saw the Sloth, but it was very hard um, to make out what it was in the tree. But anyway, we've seen one. <laughs> yeah. And then we saw some, I think they were howler monkeys, weren't they, yeah, the first yeah. ones we saw. Um, apparently they males make a um, howling type of noise to uh, attract the Typical the man, really. <laughs> <laughs> um, they, were, they, they weren't too tame, you know, they, they didn't come near us, but uh, a bit later on uh, we, we came across some white-faced uh, monkeys and they so were cute. much oh they, they were cute you you like them but they they were a lot more adventurous coming down to the boat but the guide obviously was holding some papaya uh, papaya yeah. out for them and they came out <coughs> and took the papaya from their hands one of them did evidently they don't like anything green they didn't like green apples or green grapes or anything green so mm. don't know what that was about but really, really interesting to see them up close, wasn't mm. it? Um, and then we went on and uh, we actually saw some little pygmy type monkeys. These couldn't have been much that, more than six it's inches cute. high. So cute. Um, but they moved so fast and they hid, they were really mm. shy. Um, you could see the movement in the trees. Um, you could see on occasions um, the monkey running down the branch but it was so fast that you didn't have a chance to really capture it on film because, you know, there was just, uh, it was there and gone in a, in a nanosecond. Uh, but they were quite uh, interesting. Um, we then went around, so we, we went around the lake and what seemed to happen was uh, other boats that were taking people out would spot something and then everybody would converge. And they were fair food, it was fairly oddly mm. measured, but it meant that we got a chance to see things. Um, we saw a long nosed bat, we saw six long nosed bats. Um, Which are tiny. Absolutely tiny, mm -hmm. and they were hanging uh, down, um, and apparently um, they, they, they effectively eat mosquitoes and, and uh, small animals like that. Um, but you know, we had a really, really good it's time. Good. Very good. The message is the second. Yep. See the monkeys and the stuff. The jumps. Yep. There are the deep of the mountains that the water never reached from the lake, and that is a, a way many animals have survived. In the last hundreds, hundred and fifty years, so they found one of the most richest indigenous groups ever found, and we still don't know, don't know where they went. We're talking about in South America, Peru, the Indians. Talk to her. She had it, and she won't sell it for less than eight million dollars. Yeah. It is going to, uh, hand to hand, hand to hand, and now at least potato had it. Are you ready to see something? All right. What do you want to see? A giraffe? <laughs> An elephant? <laughs> I wish, huh? I wish. But well, we're not in Africa, we're in a new tropic. Um, we're surrounding a uh, beautiful ecosystem, what we call today uh, mountain, uh, tropical forest. We have um, dry tropical forest in the same surroundings and humid tropical forest. Yeah. So that is experience. Outside there, we're gonna sweat a lot today. It's gonna be it's gonna be a, a good time, like in a steam vapor shower, but natural. Yeah, and that's normally the temperature we have in the summer time. Rainy season it reflects a little bit in the months of October. November and December, but normally our temperature is in Celsius, 31 Celsius, and Fahrenheit is 70, 73, 70. Are you ready? She maybe went to a big fight, huh? 
any predio que le guarda. back on those early days. This guy had good portable water, running water, hot water, air conditioning, and the guys never paid rent or electricity supply or water supply. Oh, we're going off on a <laughs> Monkey Island visit. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Choking to death. Are you joking? Yeah, I feel like it. I am not. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys, uh, in some minutes uh, we'll be in Panama Cana. You enjoy a lot. I know it's a, but we need to use a life jacket because it's a mandatory in the Panama Cana and then we'll be in some minutes there. You see the iguana in the end of the branch. You see? Oh, right up there. Yes. Oh, oh. Right by the yellow. Um, that is a male. When the iguana male, they are angry, they move the head like that, like this. Oh. I like to say it's like a teenager when they, you know, you go, wow. <laughs> <laughs> then we can see the big crest on the back. And the female, they are more small and green. <laughs> they hear me. <laughs> they hear me. I read about if you find a crocodile on shore and it attack you if you want to escape. Just eating the leaf, flower, and some fruit. They have a long and prehensile tail. And normal, we find approximately more than 20 monkeys in each family. They have a one liter male, okay. usually it's more steel tight, snail tight. Uh, Oh, oh, he's there. Ah, he's there. Okay, so he's sitting there. Oh, yeah. It's like a more light brown color. He's smaller though. Yeah, he looks like... <laughs> oh, yeah, I can see. He's more fast and then uh, he moved the boat like the lateral and then he stays that way very well. Here. It's just a dark spot. This is another one. But aggressive is not the, they run behind the animal, not just defend insults. Oh, I know. <laughs> I trust you. I'm gonna go there. This is the 
is the famous case, the monkey jump in our boat, please don't touch it. And the female right now, she has a baby. Oh. The baby, maybe they have a siembre nera, two months, three months approximately. Oh. There is a mother and the juvenile right there. She is moving. Yeah. Oh. I know you know where it's more food, but
and then we came back uh, onto the ship, um, another hour and a half trip, and we arrived back uh, and, and had a bunch of uh, uh, and we food. We went back up. to the coach. You said ship. Oh yeah, we went. Well, back we went to back. The coach. Went back to the coach and then back and to the ship. had lunch on the coach actually, and then um, then it's about another hour and a half back to the ship. of the land in Panama is still and still green. It's still connecting Colombia and Costa. Midnight, Noriega was hiding in the Vatican address in Lacanon. And then we've been just chilling out this afternoon. I had a little nap. I, I, like I, don't, I don't manage to sleep during the day. Did I actually out. sleep? Yes, you did. I did. I was yeah. managing a little snooze. Yeah, I, I could hear the snoring, you know. <laughs> but uh, no, um, and this afternoon, um, did we watch a bit of television. Um, we well, were moored near another ship, so it wasn't. We're next to the Norwegian Gem. Yeah, which we um, saw last night coming through the locks. Yeah, yeah. Um, that one came Slightly through the old locks. Slightly smaller than the Emerald Princess. Yeah, it seemed to come through the mm. old locks. Um, and I think we actually, on the way back, passed the old locks, uh, which was quite interesting. We've been delayed in going because we were supposed to go at half past five, I think, and it's now ten past six in the evening. And um, they, they couldn't get a fuel thing, fuel tanker oil tanker yeah. to doing take a lot on. of work around the and i port. think we're going to be delayed until about 10 o'clock tonight but the captain said it's not going to um hold us up apparently he's going to put his foot, foot down, down. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll be in uh our, our next location which is costa rica um day after tomorrow. tomorrow we've got a sea day tomorrow and then we're at puerto rico puerto yeah. rico i can do my party piece now my daughter will be Sorry. going Oh God! <laughs> it's a West Side Story. Puerto Rico. I think we're going to have to go soon. Okay. <laughs> Does it get my Any sense of humour? <laughs> anyway, okay. um, we will take you along on our journeys, and uh, we're can going just, to go for. Can more. I just tell you what Steve has got on on the telly? Because this is the Emerald Princess, and I don't know if any of you remember the Love Boat series i think it was in the 70s actually you know the love boat da, 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 da. had all sorts of people making guest appearances he's only put it on i, <laughs> he's I, I it. never saw it that's why my eye keeps going to the telly because it's got it's got juliet mills and oh what was her husband called for Mil the millses you know juliet mills what, and three millses. yeah and the and hayley mills in it what's his name for goodness sake i have no juliet idea. mills It's going to worry you now. John Mills. Yeah. And the, and their daughter Haley Mills. And they've all got <clears throat> separate cameo 
Um, the performances in The Love Boat. What? Well, I had never seen He'd The He'd never Love even Boat. heard of The Love Boat. And I'm like, you must have seen The Love Boat. So I, I was, never seen the I love was boat. looking to see... The Love Boat. La, da, 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 da. Courtney oh. Cox got her first... Um, she wasn't on there. No, but she did get appear on that. There's loads of bit. Michael J. Fox, he was on The Love Boat. Was he? Yeah. Well, I've never watched it. Well, I thought I'd have a look to see what cruising used to be like back in the 70s. Yeah, I don't actually think it was properly like that, though. No, but the ship was featured. was a uh, proper ship. I'm having a whole turn now. Are you? <sighs> yeah. Oh, it's too much singing, I suspect. It's not a hot flush. <clears throat> not a hot flush because I've been through that. Because I'm in my sixties, but oh, I'm not. Yeah, but you know, it's it's too much singing. I'm pretty sure of it. Anyway, he's just boring. Right. He'll cut this bit. <laughs> Will he? Are oh, you not? Maybe not. Okay. Right. Anyway. Okay. We will leave you. And bye. Bye bye. Oh